What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we're gonna to be spending a real day in the life with the OnePlus 6T McLaren edition. And for those of you who have never seen one of my real day in the life videos, you're pretty much gonna be spending the day with me and the phone as we test out things like the performance, camera, battery life, all the things you'd come to expect and we're gonna see how it performs in the real world. But first, shout out to ExxonMobil for partnering with us for today's video, but let's see how the OnePlus 6T did in the real world. Okay guys, so we're officially starting our day with the OnePlus 6T McLaren edition. It's 11 a.m. and we've got 100% battery. But can we stop for a second and take a look at this beautiful design? This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It has like these nice orange accents and this carbon fiber under this black. Best looking phone that OnePlus has made yet hands down, very easy to say that. For those of you who don't know what the difference is between the McLaren edition and the regular OnePlus 6T, this thing has 10 gigs of RAM, which is insane. This thing has more RAM than some computers have right now. And it also has what OnePlus is calling warp charging. It's all about speed. This thing is inspired by the McLaren F1. And uh, I'm just really excited to try it out. It's also a pretty awesome unboxing experience. Most of the accessories that you get are black and orange, so it kind of fits with the whole theme. And it also comes with like this little book that gives you more history about the McLaren. But we've got some pretty exciting things to do today. We got to stop by New York for a meeting, and then we are going to be moving in to the new studio, guys. So soon, you're gonna have to say goodbye to this place because we got a new spot, y'all. All right, guys, so now we're on our way to New York. And I gotta say, now that I'm out here where there's concrete on the floor, this feels scary to leave just like it is. Uh, it's a very, very beautiful phone and I feel like you just have to look at it the way it is. Putting a case on it seems blasphemous, but it just, it feels wrong to use it. It just feels wrong, but I feel super nervous right now because this is pretty slippery. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty slippery phone. Let's just hope nothing happens to it. I'm gonna go caseless. I'm being brave, y'all. So right now we are headed over to the city. We've got about a 28 minute drive. Started off at like 30. So we're gonna see how that impacts the battery. Right now we are sitting pretty with 84% battery. All right guys, now we're in New York and I needed to make a pit stop at Home Depot, get a few things for the move that we're gonna be doing today. And uh, I'm actually gonna go take a picture of the storefront. We got some clouds. I think this would be a good shot for uh, testing out some dynamic range. Snap them. And that is a clean image. It's a little bit dark in the shadowy areas, but overall I am very happy with this. We got a little plant here too. Let's see what we can get with this guy. Oh, nice. Well, this is a lot sharper than I expected. That's a pretty clean image. You guys can see the detail on the little ribbon here. Can't even tell, but when you zoom in, you see all that detail, that's, that's a good look. Sharpness is on point, not bad. Guys, look at these bins right here. It's like they knew I was coming. They knew. All right guys, so that had to be the worst Home Depot experience I've ever had. Way too many things went wrong, so that's we're just gonna leave it at that. But right now I need to get some gas. So Exxon's got this really cool Speed Pass Plus app where you can just open it up. And since I'm at Home Depot right now, all I have to do is hit Find Station and boom, I know exactly where I need to go and I can get my directions. So it's that simple if you ever lost and you need to get gas, you don't have to do much work, just open the Speed Pass Plus app. Okay guys, so now we're at the mobile station and we're gonna use the Speed Pass Plus app to pay for our gas. All right guys, so we've got the app open and all I have to do to get started is hit pay for fuel. And what's nice is the app will automatically detect which gas station I'm in. And then I just hit what pump I'm at too. So I'm at number one, as you guys can see over here. And all I have to do after that is hit authorize pump. And with that, I'll be able to select my payment method and start pumping. And this is probably one of the easiest ways you'll find to pay for gas. But what's also really nice is that in gas stations, you'll typically find a lot of people get their credit card information stolen, uh, thanks to scammers, unfortunately. But with this way, it is completely safe. No credit card information is going into the scanner here, so you're 100% safe. And I think that's just the way to do it. So no personal information given. Gas is pumped, and we're good to go. So not only is this a safer way to pay for your gas, 
but you can also add on your rewards plus card so that you can earn towards future purchases. And like this, you're paying for your gas and earning rewards at the same time, which is a no brainer. And if you guys wanna learn more, I'll of course have links down below in the description. It's a game changer. All right guys, so right now we are on our way back to the studio. It's a 46 minute drive ahead of us, folks. I'm not looking forward to it, but can't stay in New York. <laughs> Okay, so the day's pretty much winding down. It's like 7 p.m. Uh, I was just getting some food, I guess, like dinner, lunch, whatever you want to call it. First time I ate today, which isn't good. Uh, but it is 7.05 p.m. And just to give you guys a battery update, we are sitting at 38%, which is actually really good. 38% at the end, well, close to the end of the day, end of a normal work day. It's actually is pretty solid. And we have about four hours and 45 minutes of screen on time. Wow. That is really, really impressive. So while I was eating, I was watching this video about this guy who trained like Michael B. Jordan for 30 days. And I will say, the screen is good, the colors are nice. This is a very, very nice screen to enjoy some content on. And what I like is when I zoom in for, you know, watching a YouTube video in full screen on a 18 by nine phone, the notch isn't that bad. Like you can obviously notice it when there isn't a black background here, but it's not that bad. There have been worse notches out there, uh, but watching on this, the teardrop notch is probably the best notch I've seen so far. And might I add, I tweeted this, but I am not very proud of myself watching these guys train, talk about having a great diet after I just destroyed a ton of food, like I'm almost embarrassed how bad I did this. Okay guys, so we just moved a few things into the new studio. Let me give you a quick, super quick tour of it. Over here we've got a closet and then we got a kitchen. And then we've got another open space. There's a lot of stuff going on here guys. Right now this is just a few things that we picked up from the studio. It's gonna look crazy messy inside of here soon. But if you guys wanna see a full studio tour once we get it all hooked up, definitely leave a thumbs up on the video. But in terms of the OnePlus 6T, I'm probably gonna call it a day for work. I'm gonna take it home, use it as much as I can, and then we'll try to kill this battery, which has been doing really, really well. And this is just one of the spaces here, guys. Got another space to show you in another video. Okay, guys, so got back home not too long ago. It is 12.36 in the morning. I am working on a video right now for tomorrow. The grind never stops, but we do have to finish talking about the OnePlus 6T. Um, honestly, guys, the battery life is just absolutely insane on this guy. Um, let's see where we are at in terms of screen on time. 20% left, five hours and 25 minutes of screen on time. So that is absolutely insane. I think when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna let it render out, and while I wait for that to happen, I'll probably play some games, try to kill the battery a bit, and then maybe take advantage of that warp charging, and I'll let you guys know how that goes. But let's talk about the overall experience that we're getting here. So one thing about this phone, when you swipe up, you'll notice at the very top, you got that black and orange color scheme, and that is, of course, because it is the McLaren edition of the OnePlus 6T, matches the back which is a fingerprint magnet, if you guys can't see. Tons of fingerprints throughout the day, so if you really wanna see that carbon fiber, you're gonna to have to look through those fingerprints first. And now there's something we haven't talked about on the channel yet, and that's this in-screen fingerprint scanner. And I gotta say, it's okay. Uh, it definitely works. Uh, so if you wanna just use it, that's okay. Uh, it's not as fast as like the original that was in the back. I think that was a bit faster. But honestly, nothing beats the face unlock. Check that out. That is just so fast, guys. Now, performance-wise, this thing is an absolute beast. Has the latest Snapdragon 845 processor, and it also has 10 gigs of RAM. Now, let's try something out. With all this RAM, you'd expect to be able to go deep, deep back into your apps and maybe not have it reset. If I can jump into this app right now, Drugalia Lost is a game that if you open too many apps, it'll definitely restart. I don't know, maybe it's really RAM intensive, uh, but let's see. Oh. 
Guys, I am in complete shock right now. You don't understand how many times I've opened an app after using Dragalia Lost. Like if I open the camera, what sometimes it'll just kill the game and that the game restarts. This is shocking to me. Now that for me is a huge indicator that this 10 gigs of RAM is doing its job. Wow. Okay guys, I'm tired. It is two in the morning, it's 2.14. We got 7% battery left. It's time to try out the warp charger. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to see it. <laughs> I'm so tired. What time is it though? I mean, what battery? I don't. <laughs> Screen on time, six hours, 18 minutes. I think this is officially the longest battery life I've had on a smartphone or? Seven percent. Oh wow. The iPhone XR might have had more. I don't remember. Either way, extremely good battery life. But let's see what this warp charging is about. You're supposed to be able to get 50% in just 20 minutes. Wow. Look at this cable too. This is a braided um, orange cable, black and orange, says warp charging, McLaren. Looks really good. I'll take a screenshot so that I can keep that for my records. Okay guys, so it's been about 20 minutes and it's showing 56% battery. So that is a good look. Uh, the claims were right. So you get at least 50% in a 20 minute charge, which is insane. And I know Ari just asked if there's a special sign or something that comes up when you're warp charging. And there you have it. It's pretty nice. But all right guys, it's 2.39 in the morning. I'm getting some sleep. And there you have it guys, that was the day. And I will tell you guys, it was a very long day. But what was really impressive was the fact that the OnePlus 6T was able to hang with me throughout the entire day. I even had to do a little bit more to kill the battery life at the end, playing a couple of games. Uh, but I was really surprised at the overall performance of this phone. I think the standard edition is a really good value starting off at $549.99. Uh, but you can spend a little bit more if you want more space, more RAM. The McLaren edition does have the most space and RAM that you can possibly get. And it also looks good, but that is completely up to you on whether or not you think it's worth the extra 150 bucks compared to the very base model. But from my personal experience with it, if I had the OnePlus 16 McLaren edition and someone told me it was a $700 phone, I would completely believe them and think it was a justified price. But just knowing there's that much cheaper version out there, if you're looking for a great value, that's probably the one you want. But with the McLaren edition, you do also get the addition of warp charging, which will give you at least 50% within 20 minutes of charging, which I found to be true. And I gotta say guys, it is amazing that this phone can do that, especially with the size battery that it has inside. You're not gonna be able to kill this phone. This phone is definitely gonna last with you throughout your entire day. It's a solid performer. I really do think that it is a good buy. Now, the only issues that I have with it is that this one is a bit slippery. Uh, it's an amazing phone to look at, but it will definitely slip in your hand because of that glass back. But you'll probably throw a case on here, but if you, I don't know. It's kind of hard to really justify putting a case on this one when you're buying it for its design and possibly other features. Uh, but honestly, I would throw a case on it for everyday usage. But basically guys, this phone did everything I would want my smartphone to do. Uh, it performed really well, played all my games without any hiccups, especially when it was on the verge of dying. Uh, under 10%, usually my games tend to start acting a little funny, start lagging a bit, but it held up just fine here. So that was really impressive. So performance, definitely not issue uh, it has a beautiful design uh, the body looks great the screen looks really nice so watching content on it is great even that teardrop notch looks really really nice I think it has like a classy look when it comes to notches can't believe I just said that. The camera also performs really well. I'm still gonna be honest with you guys and say I am spoiled by the Pixel 3, uh, but this one does a good enough job. If we're not even considering the Pixel 3 or anything, this one does really well. Only thing I'd say is that the darker areas in the shot tends to be pretty dark, uh, but is absolutely usable, uh, especially considering that there's also a night mode. So if you wanna take photos at night where it's not very well lit, this will be able to perform just fine. Uh, this is just a really good phone. I absolutely recommend it. And honestly, this McLaren edition, I think it might be the phone that I carry around in my pocket alongside my iPhone. It might be the Android that I take around. I I'm gonna have to get rid of that Pixel 3 camera, but as an overall phone, I think I like the OnePlus 6T a bit more. 
But that about wraps up for this video, guys. If you were on the fence about picking up one of these OnePlus 6Ts, I absolutely think you should. It is a great, great value. It is a high performing phone. I think it's worth it. McLaren Edition, it's up to you. But personally, I like the way it performed. Uh, it did a lot of surprising things for me in terms of keeping apps open with all that RAM. So that was really solid. And that fast charging or warp charging, can't beat it. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.